Today we're going to talk about some really important items that are going to help you decide to make the move here this year. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss anything. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cody Elkin, a real estate agent here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you're new here and interested in all things Duluth, hit that subscribe button. If you're remotely thinking about making the move here and buying property, reach out anytime at the email or phone number on the screen below. I would love to help you out. I love hearing from everybody. Now let's talk a little bit more about making the move here. Now there are going to be a lot of moving parts if you're thinking about making the move here and buying property. There's a lot to consider, especially you know what's going on in each local area. Maybe you uh, have a home to sell in your area to make the move here. You know what's going on with uh, interest rates uh, for people to be able to buy the home uh, or the home you're looking for, uh, home prices, same for the area you're moving to here. Uh, so it, it really just kind of depends on what's going on in the local area. Um, so it's really good to start planning early. And uh, you, if you have a home to sell, are you thinking about, uh, you know, is it ready to sell? Do you have to fix up anything, anything like that? So keep all that in mind. Uh, the time of year uh, can make a big difference, especially here where we have four distinct seasons and a real winter, uh, because winter does change things, including you know, what's going on in the housing market. It's been really hard to predict. Uh, even you know the availability of homes uh, have been really on and off, uh, especially like this year and like last year for uh, the first half. Uh, with the lack of homes uh, available to purchase. So winter really slows things down. Spring was a little slow even. Um, and then things started picking up in later in spring uh, as well. So do keep that in mind, depending on the time of year, you may be thinking about making the move. Um, uh, you really gotta start keeping an eye out early uh, because you never know when that right house is going to appear uh, and be listed for sale. So keep all that in mind. And, uh, you know, we've had a lot going on because we do have a lot of variety of properties. So it's good to start planning this stuff early for a little bit about what you're thinking about buying. Um, so it's really good to visit the area as soon as you can. Uh, if it's been a while or maybe you haven't been here yet, I uh, highly recommend even coming for a day or a couple of days just to scope out the terrain, where everything's located, all that stuff, and uh, make sure what's going to work for you. I definitely recommend reaching out uh, as soon as you can uh, and I'm happy to start the planning process with you um, so definitely reach out anytime uh, if you're thinking about making the move and buying, buying property here but we do have a, a wide variety of properties so uh, there's a lot of like older homes uh, if you really like the older home character and setup uh, there's tons of, like built in like 1900 to 19 you know 40 50 uh, it really just depends on the setup you're looking for because we have uh, different terrain here as well uh, and the homes uh, are going to have different sized lots um, depending on if you want a bigger yard. We also have a lot of different uh, property for sale with bigger yard space as well. Uh, a lot of rural property here. Uh, some of these older homes, uh, because of the train, we have the Duluth Hill so and some hilly terrain uh, outside of just the Duluth Hill as well. Uh, so the backyard may have some elevation to it uh, with a little slope um, somewhere the driveway may have a slope uh, so keep all that in mind uh, for what you're fine with uh, and looking for in a property as far as like the parcel setup the homes uh, are you looking for something to have full renovations do you want something to fix up uh, we've got quite a mix there um, and certainly newer homes as well uh, we don't have giant uh, new construction development areas necessarily. We have uh, typically smaller ones if uh, for some of the new stuff. Um, and then usually like kind of one-off uh, new construction builds typically. Um, and not a lot of uh, condos and townhomes either, but we do have some. So uh, keep an eye on that as well uh, for what's uh, listed for sale. But uh, there's a lot going on as well for like rural properties, depending on what you're looking for because uh, the land can vary depending on, you know, if there's 10 acres, how much of it is usable. That's a really par a big part of uh, t what to consider, how much yard space are you looking for that's available for use, uh, for standard yard space, what do you want to maintain, uh, whether it's uh, for mowing, uh, leaf cleanup, uh, snow removal, um, like uh, whether it's some yard space, snow removal, driveway, sidewalk, uh, 
you know, how well is certain road uh, maintenance for snow removal. Uh, there's different like priorities here in Duluth and uh, out in the country. Typically, it's uh, the county, depending on the property. Sometimes a road may be private uh, road maintenance only. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Utilities will vary too, depending on if you're looking in the city of Duluth or in like a rural property. Because in the city of Duluth, uh, we've got like Comfort Systems, uh, Minnesota Power, uh, Spectrum for Internet. Um, and then it really just uh, depends on uh, if you're going outside of the city of Duluth, you may have like a, instead of city gas, you may have a propane tank uh, for your home heat. Uh, maybe there's going to be electric heat. Um, there's a few different power companies depending on where you'll be located as well. Internet will vary. Uh, typically there's going to be one main provider um, for high speed internet depending on where you're located. There may be more than one um, so that we have to take property to property as well as what speed will work especially if you're working from home or something. Uh, it, uh, there's a lot of uh, broadband development going on especially in some of these rural areas so it's really cool to see that. But we definitely have to continue to check, yeah, see what speeds and internet is going to be available at each property. There's a lot of really cool waterfront properties as well on uh, rivers or lakes, um, some on Lake Superior. Uh, but we do have a ton of like uh, lakes outside of just being Lake Superior within you know 30 minutes to an hour here. Uh, not all of them will be available or for year-round use necessarily. They might be more of just a cabin setup. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Make sure all the utilities are there. Is it built for year-round use? Anything like that. Um, so there is a lot to consider uh, when you're thinking about you know, the right property, where you want to be and everything. Um, so that's why I highly recommend just visiting the area and scoping things out. We have a lot here as well. And uh, with the changing seasons, you know, we've got a lot of activities. Uh, available here but also a lot as far as like we've got two main hospitals uh, St. Luke's and Essentia. Essentia's got a brand new building they spent a lot of money renovating it's really nice uh, so we have a lot of services here that may not be available if uh, in some of these smaller areas uh, so definitely check out uh, any services you need we also have three main colleges in the area which is great to have access to. We've got Lake Superior College, St. Scholastica, and University of Minnesota Duluth, where I went to college, and uh, right here in the city of Duluth, so it's nice not to have to leave the area or go online for everything. So check those out for anything you may want as far as uh, uh, college uh, credit here as well. So they work uh, really well, too, with a lot of the local places, uh, depending on the program. So that's really cool uh, to see here as well. And as far as like big activities, you know, we've got the uh, the DEC Convention Center. So we host big events there, whether it's comedy acts, uh, a lot of concerts will happen, different expos. So if we have something big going on, a lot of times it's going to be there indoors. We have a lot of outdoor events. Uh, we're big on the outdoors here and uh, down in like Bayfront. We've got a lot of outdoor space where concerts and different festivals will happen as well uh, over by where the lake walk starts uh, in the bay side there. So it's really fun to have access to all this. And right, being next to Lake Superior is awesome. So keep a, a number of things in mind as well. We're, we're built around uh, Lake Superior. We've got the Duluth Hill. The Duluth Hill does not make up the entire area, but it does stretch for a long ways. There's a lot of space above it and below it. Uh, and the steepness level will vary on the hill, uh, depending on where you're at as well. Uh, and we're built around Lake Spear. There's a lot of space to directly access the lake. So that's really nice. Uh, there's busier times of the year, uh, especially uh, in like summertime here because it's so nice next to the lake. We do get uh, more tourism, but it does happen year round because of different events and uh, the seasons are, you know, with the changing uh, scenery and everything, It's it, we do get varying tourism here for that as well. But we've got like Park Point, uh, which is supposed to be the world's longest freshwater sandbar. Uh, so there's a sand beach along the main body of Lake Superior over there that has different access points and is free to use. I love going over there on a warm day. Um, so there's a lot of people that use that space as well, especially in the main park area by the beach house. Um, 
and there's a trail system you can only drive so far but then there's a trail system where you can take it down to the 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 point uh so it's really cool uh there's a lot of people that use uh the water over there for like boating and paddle boarding and just uh hanging out in general uh sometimes uh, there's even surfing going on <laughs> so it's pretty wild and we've got like the lake walk where it goes for about eight miles starts in the bayfront canal park area uh, before park point and you can take that all the way down to bayfront a lot of it is going to be along lake superior so we have access to a lot of this uh, there's train tracks uh, that do scenic tours uh, for part of the year that go along uh, the lake walk area so do keep all that in mind uh, as well so it's really fun to have access to all this and it's nice to even explore it too in the non-winter months and lastly i do want to mention briefly here that we do have quite a bit uh, available to us as far as retail and other business services here uh, it's really interesting for a, a city this size what we have access to and so a lot of our retail is uh, built up around the miller hill mall area above uh, kind of the main part of the duluth hill and we do have more spots that I'll talk about in a second, but a lot of it is uh, built up around there, especially like the Miller Hill Mall. Um, and uh, they're, they've been building new buildings over there and some new restaurants, which is awesome. Uh, they've been renovating like the parking lot area around there and it really needed it. There was a lot of potholes, but it's getting really nice now. And um, and around there, we also have a lot of the like the big chain stores, whether you're looking for a Home Depot uh, Michael's Best Buy, Target, uh, it, it kind of stretches into like the city of Hermantown as well, whether uh, you want to go to like Menards or Walmart. Um, uh, we have a lot here, grocery stores, we have uh, a few Whole Foods uh, co-ops, some Aldi's, uh, our, one of our main chains is going to be Super One Foods, and uh, we do have a, a bigger uh, Cub Foods here. And so a lot of it's going to be up in that area. There's a lot of small business here you probably haven't even heard of. Uh, we are huge on small business here, so keep that in mind. Uh, so you may think something's not here uh, for business services or something. Uh, definitely research it or feel free to reach out as well. I'm happy to try and help you out. Um, uh, we've got Costco, Ashley Furniture, multiple <laughs> furniture stores, uh, car dealerships, all that stuff's here. Um, and we've also got more like downtown Duluth and Canal Park. D downtown's going to be a lot of like business offices as well. Canal Park's going to have uh, more re like restaurants and little retail shops. And then uh, over in like West Duluth, there's going to be more restaurants, a few uh, bigger uh, like grocery stores and things like that. And then some of the area has some smaller uh, grocery stores, coffee shops, little restaurants uh, spread throughout some of the area as well. But those are kind of the main spots. Uh, so it's really good to uh, explore the area uh, and just see where everything is, how to get get around and everything. So I highly recommend visiting, uh, but definitely keep all that in mind if you are thinking about making the move here. Well, there you go. There is a little bit more information about making the move here to Duluth, Minnesota. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share with a friend. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about Duluth, Minnesota every week. As always, if you're even remotely think about buying property here or selling property in the Duluth or surrounding areas, reach out anytime with the email or phone number on the screen below. I would love to help you out.